You probably clicked on this video because you want to know how to get that accept or decline cookie banner to pop up on your website so that you don't get in trouble when it comes to following regulations. Well, the bad news is that having a cookie banner is no longer enough. To comply with several legal regulations, you need to follow specific steps that you might not be aware of yet. But no worries, in this video I'll help you figure out everything you need to know when it comes to cookies and data collection. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Daniela, a content creator here at one.com and in this video I'll show you how to choose and install a cookie plugin on your WordPress website so you can be sure that you're following all required privacy regulations. There are plenty of cookie plugins out there, so which one should you choose and what should you consider when selecting? I'll give you the answers to these and other important questions in this video. So let's get started. Today, let's dive into the world of cookies, those digital bits of data that play a significant role in your online experience. Now, some people may appreciate the convenience they offer, while others have concerns about data privacy. So it's essential to understand the different types of cookies websites use. There are functional cookies, which enhance user experience, statistical cookies, which help website owners understand how visitors interact with their site, and marketing cookies, which are used for targeted advertising purposes. So, in other words, functional cookies make your website more user-friendly, statistical cookies provide valuable insights, and marketing cookies personalize your online ads. It's a balance between convenience and privacy that every website owner must consider. When it comes to regulations around cookies, there are different standards in place worldwide. As an example, we have GDPR, which stands for General Data Protection Regulation in Europe, and the CCPA, short for California Consumer Privacy Act, in the United States. These are just a couple of examples, and there might be other regulations specific to your region. It's crucial to be aware of the legal landscape around cookies and data privacy, and ensure your website complies with the applicable laws. Let's clear up some confusion. When we talk about giving information and getting consent, it's all about transparency. Websites need to inform visitors about the cookies they use and obtain their consent before storing any data. Think of it as being respectful of your guests at a party. You wouldn't just start serving drinks without asking if they're interested, right? You'd first ask them if they'd like one. The exact same concept applies to your website's visitors. Before storing any of the data, you must ask them if they agree, hence getting their consent. Now, if a guest at your party said, no, I don't want a drink, thank you, would you kick them out? Probably not, as refusing is part of the consent process. Again, the same applies to your website. Your visitors should have the option to reject certain cookies and get in-depth information about which cookies your website is storing. When talking about transparency, you also need to consider where your data is stored. Imagine your website as a virtual house. Some websites store data in their own house that is within their own service, while others use a cloud, which is a network of remote servers. If you're storing data in the cloud, there might be a third party involved, kind of like having a storage unit outside your home. It's essential to be cautious about who has access to your storage unit and inform your visitors about it. Choosing the right cookie plugin can be overwhelming, especially considering the variety of options out there. As you heard in the beginning of this video, having a cookie banner is no longer enough if we consider regulations like GDPR. In fact, what you also need is a cookie consent management tool. So what's the difference? A cookie banner informs your visitors that cookies are collected on your website, while a cookie consent management tool allows them to customize their preferences and opt out of specific cookies. It's a tag team effort to ensure compliance and user satisfaction, as it demonstrates that you're concerned with your users' privacy and data protection. And for full compliance, your cookie plugin should allow users to access the cookie banner at any time, revoke their consent, and view which cookies are used, whether they're functional, statistical, or marketing. This transparency is vital to building trust with your visitors and ensuring their privacy is respected. Now, here's a cookie plugin I highly recommend, the Real Cookie Banner. Real Cookie Banner has a team of experts behind it who have gone above and beyond to ensure that their plugin complies with regulations, specifically GDPR. It's developed by a dedicated group of developers and even though you can install it for free, it has many features that can only be accessed through the paid version. 
But keep in mind that investing in a reputable plugin like this one means you have a committed team working diligently to keep your website updated and compliant. In fact, when it comes to plugins, be cautious about free options. Legislation changes frequently and free plugins might lack the necessary updates and support to keep your website compliant. Investing in a paid plugin ensures you have a team working behind the scenes to address any changes promptly. Now that we have clarified and covered the important points to consider prior to choosing a cookie plugin, let's move on to the practical part. To install the cookie plugin, in this case, Real Cookie Banner, go over to your WordPress dashboard, select plugins from the left-hand menu, select add new, and then type in the name of the cookie plugin. You then need to click install. Once it's installed, you will need to activate it. If you have chosen Real Cookie Banner as your cookie plugin, after you've activated it, you will also have to activate the free license. As you can see, many features are only available with the paid version of the plugin, which I recommend you get. In fact, by getting the paid version, you can also get access to statistics related to the consents of your visitors. As you can see, you can easily adjust settings, create services, add the content blocker and customize the banner. Even though it may seem overwhelming at first, each section has a thorough explanation of what the setting is about. For example, if you look at services, you can read about what services are. And when adding one, you can also get help from experts. And there you have it. Understanding cookies and choosing the right plugin for your WordPress website doesn't have to be a headache. By considering these factors and staying informed, you can create a user-friendly and compliant online space. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next video.